So now we'll be introducing uh, uh, Ms. Haril, an emerging Jordanian artist. Uh, oops. Yeah, she's an emerging Jordanian artist, lives and works in UAE, working uh, primarily in oils. She often employs emotive uh, tablets. Her artistic process began as a child. She found her world in drawing. It was the easier way to express her feelings. Her art characterized by vibrant colors, old buildings, and bold composition. She illuminates uh, qualities that often go unnoticed by the casual observer. She demonstrates uh, a highly developed sense of colors and composition and keen to attention to details. Ms. Hadil, uh, the stage is yours to you know, introduce yourself and your works. Hello. Hi, how are you? Uh, my name is Hadil Azimi. I'm from Palestine. Um, I clinched uh, the runner-up title at uh, the International Art Competition, uh, the Golden Brush Award, and I participated in many um, art exhibitions in UAE and Paris. I work pro uh, primarily on oils. Um, I use different kind of art, abstract art, vibrant with vibrant colors, being an ancient art like all building, which represents a uh, dwelling of soul. So this is uh, an oil color painting. Uh, it's uh, known as Haifa City. Haifa is a Palestinian city, which always I'm trying to, to show the beauty of Palestinian cities. And Haifa is one of them. And this beautiful city, which is uh, known for its majestic view uh, of the Mediterranean Sea. Um, I use the earth color on the building. Uh, and uh, the blue view on uh, the sea, so to show the purity of uh, the sea. And um, I'm looking forward to exhibit tomorrow. I don't want to be too much long. And thank you for having, having me. Thank you, Ms. Adil. I mean, um, uh, it's a very pleasure to see, uh, you know, your culture and Palestinian, because a lot of my friends uh, I've seen in their homes, especially these, uh, you know, representing, uh, uh, you know, their part of the city and the culture is, is great. Uh, great to learn. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's, it's nice work too. Uh. Thank you. Thank you so much. So now I'll be introducing uh, Ms. Mridu Srivachwa. Uh, she's an Indian artist based out in uh, Dubai, UAE. Being an art enthusiast, Mridu joined online professional diploma in fine art from a private academy based out from India. This was the beginning of uh, a new life of, as an artist. Uh, she started feeling that her relationship with colors and turned them to express her feelings. She always believed that there is always a, a superpower working behind her and in her uh, case, it, it is nothing but her motherhood. Her brushes, strokes, moves show her confidence, love, precision, perfectness, and passion. Ms. Uh, Murdu, I'm passing over the stage to you to talk about, uh, and uh, I love your last lines, uh, you know, it's the her confidence, love, and the passion, you know, it's, it's amazing. Uh, and I, you know, it's encourages many of the artists and a lot of inspiration. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much, Artist Mary and uh, the other artists. Really, I am very impressed with all our work. And this is my first uh, experience uh, in this exhibition. This is my first artwork. So I'm very happy to share with you all. Right? And uh, as a, the artist Mary has given the topic cultural diversity. So I prepared this painting in two days. Wanted to show you. Uh, this is the Mina Bazaar. It's, uh, if uh, anyone is from, <laughs> I mean, I think uh, all of us is from Dubai, so everybody aware with this place. So this is my uh, art piece for cultural diversity. I'm a little nervous actually. <laughs> this is my first time. I'm from India, and uh, here you can see all work, the scale, uh, fine work. This is the Mina Bazaar, uh, best place for showing cultural diversity. Thank you so much. This is all right. Well, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Madhu. It's nice. Thank you, Madhu. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great view of Mina Basar. 
Okay, now we'll be introducing uh, um, Ms. Huda Ibrahim. Uh, she's, a, she's a Sudanese artist and interior designer from College of Fine Arts. Creative interior designer with know-how of planning, have ability in developing initial ideas for design and acquiring key information from clients to determine their specific requirements. She has a first prize in exhibition of a young Sudanese artist, the Embassy of Switzerland in Sudan. Ms. Huda, I'm, you know, I'm passing over to you to talk about your artwork. Hello, my Hi. name is Huda Ibrahim. I'm from Sudan. I will show you my art because of the time. My art is uh, abstract art with watercolor. Uh, show the many tribes in Sudan. We have uh, we have more than uh, fifty hundred, five hundred tribes. So uh, that just examples from west, east, north, south. Uh, I use the watercolor. Uh, that's all. Thank you. I'm glad to be a part of your exhibition. Okay, thank you, Ms. Huda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Representing the African culture, and I can see that's beautifully done. So now we'll be introducing uh, Ms. Ikra Mazid. She has a post-graduation in fine arts from College of Art and uh, Design, Punjab University. In 2018, she completed uh, a bachelor's in fine arts from University of Education, uh, Lower Mall, Lahore. In this piece of art that the, she painted to show how rich Pakistan is in culture as a Pakistani, we are influenced by so many cultures. The background feels like some kind of map, but that is to show our green and beautiful homeland. And those white circles on it are the guiding principle of Pakistan, unity, faith, and discipline. So I think, uh, Mr. Ikra, if you talk about this work, uh, you know, uh, that'll be great to hear. Um, hello, everyone. It's Ikra Majid. I'm an artist from Pakistan. It is my first experience with Art Smiley and I'm very, I'm very glad to be as a participant of this ex exhibition. As you can see, and everyone I have heard about what I painted in my painting. So um, I will not, not take so much time. So um, this is the painting that is I have painted on canvas with acrylic and as you can see, there are so many colors that shows some different cultures of Pakistan. Every color represents, represents a culture of Pakistan. And these are the circles. These are the national mottos of national motto of Pakistan, which is unity, faith, and discipline. The color I use is white because I feel that white is the color of um, peace. So I think that uh, with peace, we can live and we can um, continue with living all cultures in future. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ikra. It's uh, greatly explained uh, and nice work. Uh, thank you for uh, representing from Pakistan. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, good work. So now we'll be introducing uh, Ms. Karen. Uh, Karen is a fine artist from the Filipinos, Philippines. Uh, Karen uses several mediums in her process and that includes inks, paint, markers, charcoal, and acrylic. She loves experimenting with different medium, but her favorite is oil because it gives her painting movement and uh, intriguing, sorry, intriguing depth using color temperature. Her works finds to be dreamy looking, full of symbolism that makes it more interesting. She also likes poetry and uh, music that sometimes play a big role in her art. So Ms. Karen, please uh, uh, talk about your works 
and uh, yourself a bit. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Karen. I am an artist from the Philippines, living in the UAE since 2010. Um, yeah, first of all, I would like to thank Art Smiley for making this exhibition possible. Uh, by the way, uh, this is my work. Um, this is 90 by 120 centimeters. I call this painting Brave Soul and it is painted using oil paint on a gallery canvas. Um, let me just take the camera so you can have a closer look on the details. Yeah, uh, I also love being a little bit of expressive, um, leaving brush strokes and drips on my piece instead of blending it too much. Uh, I believe that it's beautiful and kind of interesting for me as it makes the piece more personal. So why I painted Tiger? Honestly, I don't know uh, till I finish the piece. I have this blank canvas on my easel that I am excited to put a paint on. And I never really decided what to paint till after a few days having the canvas. So uh, this is the time where I started seeing a lot of tigers everywhere. Um, and even I dream about it. So when I finished the painting, I started to ask myself why my God tells me to paint this and not that. What it really means to me and how this creature connects. So I dig deeply. Um, so what? is it actually and i found that tigers is highly respected especially in asian culture uh, for example is in india and china it is a paramount in their traditions and culture and has an impressive amount of objects with their tigers uh, for them it is a symbol of strength courage and of course a brave soul it is also a ruler symbol for other nations it's interesting to just be enlightened. Uh, I mean, it's interesting to be enlightened because I may not have known this if I didn't paint a tiger. Right? And I think that it is important to know things like this, especially that I live in a diverse community. I believe that understanding their culture and, um, and you know, uh, understanding their culture and make what makes them a nation will actually create a harmonious relationship so yeah i think that's it for me tonight and i hope that uh you check out our work and it is also available in artsmiley.com thank you very thank you. much I appreciate the good work. thank you, you. Karen, you can reach out again. Uh, anybody like her works, it'll be showcased uh, um, at, the, at the Double Tree Hilton Hotel as well. So now we'll be introducing um, um, Ms. Madhavika Kabara, Indian artist based in Dubai. She's a self-taught lover of art. Art has always given her peace and joy, and it has helped her overcome many hardships in life. She liked to mimic real life scenes on canvas. She worked with oil, acrylic, and watercolors mostly. She worked with special tool in oil color to create her style. She had participated in many group exhibitions in India, Indonesia, and Dubai as well. Ms. Madhavika, stage is yours. Uh, please uh, uh, talk about your works. Thank you. Hello. Um, I think we can't hear you. Maybe you're on mute. Hello. Yeah, now we can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm Madhvika Kabra. I'm from India, as you said just. I'm a self-taught lover of art. I like to mimic uh, nature on my canvases. And uh, I work in oil, acrylic, and watercolor. Uh, I have participated in many exhibitions in India, Indonesia, and in near future, I am participating in Dubai as well. And today, I want to thank you guys, I, Art Smiley, to give me this stage. This is my first show in UAE. Okay. And let's go for the best for the future also. Okay. Today, I am showing my three art pieces. All in uh, watercolor. As I am from India, 
and uh, all know that india is a place of unity diversity itself we love to celebrate many festivals kalapur festivals we almost celebrate every day festivals in uh, all the states of our country so this is my painting dance of joy i have shown how colors have capability to breathe life into the everything and we all know that many uh, other countries also celebrate color in india we celebrate color by the name of holi yeah and we love to play colors water dance with loud music so happiness all over in those festivals so this is the dance of joy this is my second painting as you can see water in this and we all know that water is the one of the most lively element of our life and in this i have shown uh river ganga the holiest river of india people like to travel from all over the country to light a lamp and pray and this is the uh what we can say their faith that give them hope so this is my painting hope aastha in hindi we say so this is aastha and this is celebration of togetherness as we all know that festivity is the celebration in festivals we love to spend time with our friends and family this is the best time we can be together so this is the celebration of life celebration of festivity so celebration of togetherness thank you thank you madhavika thank you so much thank you thank you madhavika ji it's very nice work sir pleasure to see you works thank you yeah these are her works so now we'll be talking about uh, uh, ms sara eftikar she's sorry yeah, yeah. go ahead yes yeah, sara eftikar is a pakistani artist inspired by natural natural and uh, man made beauty she paint what inspires her she is a structural design engineer by profession and painting is her hobby and uh, source of relaxation and she believe that every painting has a visual language with which an artist speaks with the viewer she is mostly interested in abstract form of art because of its versatility and freedom of expression her paintings are suitable for offices and homes and hospitality as well and um, ms sara eftikar please uh, i know uh, talk about your works and showcase them hi everyone i am ms sara eftikar i am from pakistan uh, basically i am a structural design engineer and painting is my hobby first of all i would like to thank artist smiley for giving me this opportunity to uh, present my work and also i want to like i would like to thank my husband to <laughs> for his support so i will quickly go through my paintings the first one is uh, is an arabic tea pot yeah. yeah as it is a part of culture to present tea or coffee in beautiful arabic tea pots so i painted this tea pot here try to go through the all the detailings work here in this painting all my paintings are in acrylics uh, mostly i i like to work in acrylics this one is uh, culture in pakistan village culture in pakistan here i am showcasing um, a pakistan's village culture there are three women they are returning back to home so this is my painting and the third one this one is uh, buildings being a structural design engineer as i like always like to to paint buildings so as it is a part of uh, culture architecture and culture are related to each other so here i painted these buildings uh and most uh, prominent of them is burj khalifa so this is my work and the third one 
as we as we talk about turkish culture so this one is uh, representation of turkish culture as the subject is not new but i tried to paint it in a new way so that's all <laughs> thank you for thank you so much sara thank you Thank you, Sara. Appreciate it. It's again um, um, great cultural works and representing the true culture of uh, society where we are living in. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Yeah, these are her works. I'm just going to them. Okay. Uh, now we will be introducing a uh, Miss. Sharmila Kari. She's a self-taught Indian artist and participated in uh, many group exhibitions all over India. And one of them is uh, Chennai Lalitakala Academy and also two solo exhibitions, uh, um, Merid Moods and uh, Moods 2.0, Merid Moods and Visakhapatnam. One of her uh, painting has been uh, shortlisted for the grand finalists uh, in Art Revolution Taipei, Taiwan. Some of her paintings are with uh, private collectors in USA, Canada, Ireland, Australia, UAE, and of course, India too. So, um, Ms. Sharmila, please uh, uh, take the stage and uh, talk about uh, your artworks and yourself as well. Thank you. Hello. I think you're on. Yeah, hi. hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Sharmila Kari from India. I'm a self-taught artist. I live in a coastal city, Vizag. Maybe that because of that, you see lots of blues in my paintings. Just last month, I have exhibited in uh, Taiwan, Taipei, told us. I won't take much time. Let me show you my painting that is being exhibited in uh, Cultural Diversity Art Exhibition. The technique I used is that I have applied layers of colors uh, with crayons and completely covered with ink wash and then itched with stylus to get the desired effect. The title is Soul Sisters. Soul Sisters is all about exploring the connection between two people. The two people can even have, though they are socially, culturally from different backgrounds, what binds them is understanding and kindness. I'd like to thank the Art Smiley Gallery for providing, creating this lovely, wonderful platform for us, like the artists, to showcase our artworks. Uh, my best wishes to all the participating artists and guests. And last but not the least, to the buyers. <laughs> thank you so much. I don't want to take much time. <laughs> Thank you, Sharmila. Nice presentation. Very good. Thank you. I was a little bit nervous, like yesterday, how I would do it. Thank you. Thank you, Sharmila. You don't need to, you know, under pressure or anything. It's your, you know, it's your show. It's your platform to showcase your work and beautiful works. It's I can see a lot of detail in it, and I'm, I'm, I mean, also it's well presented. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, now we will be introducing uh, Ms. Shaya Zia, a, another Pakistani-based uh, painter, graphic designer, creative writer, and photographer. Um, she had an MA in painting from Punjab University College of Art and Design. A creative art lover since childhood, she has spent years studying the technical side of the art before branching off to create her own unique creations. Participated in many exhibitions and received Certificate of Participation in Resilience Young Artists Exhibition, Alhamra Art Council 2020. Ms. Shaya, the stage is yours to um, talk about your works and yourself. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry, I just went through a surgery and it's looking a little okay. weird. Uh, <laughs> um, but as I want to participate in this exhibition, um, uh, let me show you my work first, then I will explain it. Right. Let's see it. Um, can you see it properly? Yes, yes. If you 
a little bit stop moving the camera maybe uh, now it's it's good yeah a little bit back so yeah now it's better okay uh, basically my this piece of art belongs to cultural diversity i used to put one side painted and one sorry <laughs> one i left the plain one because uh, the things sometimes we get very overwhelmed with the cultural diversities but i painted in a roman style manuscript this is my own poem on written poem as i'm a writer too it's a devotional poem do drop on thorn and i have painted a sindhi ajrak a sindhi ajrak belongs to sindhi culture in pakistan in the province of sindh so uh, diversity is important to me because i thought the people comes from the different areas in the cultures and they have the contrasting point of views and they have the different ideas creations innovations diversity cultural perspectives can inspire creativities and inventions and i'm really thankful to art smiley to put us all in one place and uh, thanks for giving us a chance to display our works and uh, thank you so much thanks and i this is my uh, uh, acrylic painting acrylic on canvas just thank you so much thank you thank you ms dia you know it's a, a inspiring that even though you had operation done on your uh, nose but you come here and presenting that shows the passion you have towards the art good work and representing the culture of pakistan thank you very much ms dia good works so now we will be talking about uh, ms natalia uh, bitu goa bitu goa uh, hi natalia good to see you again uh, you know last exhibition you're also there and good to represent you again uh, she you know i talk about natalia when growing up in an ancient russian city mizini i'm sorry for uh, if i spelling it wrongly maybe you can spell it correct uh, she was submerged in the world of uh, world filled with music art and literature a watercolor artist who is happy to share the beauty and brightness of the world with others she loves watercolors for their unpredictability and ability to flow and merge and form a magical color combination she paints landscapes floral compositions and portraits and illustrates short stories and poems ms natalia the stage is yours to talk about and showcase your works thank you very much so one minute yeah it's fine natalia yeah, i think it's fine okay So hello everyone and first of all I'd like to say how happy I am to be part of this wonderful group of such talented people talented artists and of course a huge thank you to Art Smile for giving me this opportunity to exhibit again with you it's amazing so as it has been said already I'm a watercolor artist I love watercolors for their ability to flow but at the same time I love experimenting with colors because sometimes i feel watercolors have this ability not just to flow but also to show the brightness the beauty of this world so when it comes to cultural diversity i have three paintings that are already being exhibited in dubai in another exhibition with art smiley so i can't show them to you today but i hope you will come to the exhibition and you will see them so to say in live but today i will speak about three paintings they are framed so maybe it's a bit i don't know if you can see it properly a bit the of reflection painting, but it's okay okay so the first painting is part of my african series because like some way in may like to my june i started painting beautiful african women i really got fascinated with their beauty their clothes their head scarves their jewelry and by now i've painted quite a lot of that so as i said some of them already been exhibited so this painting is kind of detailed yes and i try to experiment with colors because i wanted to create this very beautiful purple background so the beauty of the lady would kind of stand out so i gave you this amazing head scarf very beautiful beads and what makes you different 
would be the body paint. Because as you know, in Africa, many tribes practice this. So that's all about this painting. So I hope you will see it in life later. Now let's go to the second one. The second one that I want to speak about, I'll show it to you now, is a Venetian mask. So here I wanted to represent the culture of Italy. I've never been to Italy, to tell you the truth, but it's one of my favorite countries in the world. It's my dream to go there. So I paint Italy basically all the time, you know, like cityscapes, landscapes. But here we have a different piece of work. So as I said, it's a mask. And the technique, the style used here is a bit different from my usual work because here, together with watercolors, also used ink pens to give this painting kind of decorative style. So, see, you have not just the mask, you have beautiful little flowers, you have a lot of detailed chiffon color, see a headpiece with lots and lots of tiny details. All right, so the last painting represents Russian culture to me. I'm sure like in many countries of the world, ballet is being practiced as a form of art, but I'm Russian and my daughter practiced ballet for many years when she was little. So it's something very personal. To me, ballet, as I said, represents my own country, my own culture, but at the same time, it's a symbol of beauty, a symbol of grace, a symbol of elegance, something light, something amazing, you know? So this is a ballerina in this beautiful cherry red dress. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. Once again, Great. thank you very much for giving me this chance to be with you here. And I hope a lot of people will come to our exhibition. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Natalia. Thank you, Natalia. Wonderful works once again to see. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going through the her artworks. You can see them in clear view. These are all the six books she's exhibiting. Okay. Now I'll be introducing uh, Ms. Afsan Qureshi an Indian contemporary painter who lives and works in UAE. Her distinctive personal style emanates joy and peace and expresses the atmosphere and the spirit of her cultural values. The artist was juried into Ras Al Khaimah Art Festival and Mauritius Art Festival and is the recipient of uh, multiple art awards. She received the Lea Leandro da Vinci Award and uh, Nirman Judges Choice Awards for her contributions to empowering women artists. Ms. Afshan, uh, good to see you here. Uh, um, we didn't meet you in the recently, but great to see you in the exhibition. Uh, it's uh, the sorry, she can't attend the exhibition. She's not there. No, she's not yeah. attending. Uh, all right, so you can showcase her works. Yeah, just I will go through the paintings. Sure. This yes. is forward. Beautiful and work representing the culture. And this one is orchestrated. Nice, beautiful lady. She is showcasing. Okay, so mesmerize. Good work. Yeah. And the last one is hijab. Okay, we'll go ahead with the next artist. Thank you. So we'll be now introducing uh, uh, Ms. Virginia. Virginia, born in Italy, attended the art school of uh, Verona and graduated. Passionate about art, she dedicates her, herself to painting, but also a trip lover in her travel bag. Never fail albums, pencils, and brushes. In fact, uh, the protagonists of her paintings are nature, humans, animals, in vivid colors that reflect their places and experiences lived. For her artwork, she uses various techniques, colored oil, watercolors, acrylic, and uh, pyrography. Good to see you, Virginia, again showcasing with us, and uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, so it stages yours. If you're around, talk about uh, your works and uh, yourself. Yeah, she's also not there. I think she has some internet issues, so sorry she couldn't be able to join. I will just go through her artworks. And this is Archer Pirates. You can see a lot of pirates. I think this is a temple in somewhere in India. 
she taken that inspiration and draw this painting. And the other one is a dismantling of a Gona both. A lot of uh, detail complication. Good work. Yeah, other one is stone bridge. And okay. that is at the mill. And the last work is early morning. I think we have only one more artist to showcase. He's the one. Yeah, I'll be you now um, introducing uh, Mr. Ruben Molina. He was born in uh, Barinas, Venezuela. He began his studies on art at an early age in drawing and painting courses in uh, Venezuela. He has been invited to participate in the seven international biennial of painting in uh, Guayaquil, Ecuador, uh, under the auspices of uh, the Luis Naranjo Novoa Museum. It is represented in various public and private collections in countries such as Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, USA, Spain, UK, Holland, Oman, Egypt, and Dubai. Mr. Ruben, I know you've been waiting, so it's your turn uh, to showcase your works and talk about yourself. Stage is yours. But uh, sorry, I couldn't be able to find him. I think he left. Uh, he's he's been waiting there. for a little time. Yeah, I have seen in the chat messages also, but now he's not there. Okay, I'll just go through the artworks. Okay, I, actually this is a very talented artist work. It represents Gandhi. See, you can see all of the details and the painting strokes, everything. And the next one is Joy, Joy of a Little Boy. And his technique is very unique and different. And this is flowers. You can see lots of colors. And the other one is boy. Yeah, I think that's it. Right, so you have finished, I believe, right, Aruna, everybody? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, all the artists and uh, you know uh, the well wishers and our customers who joined the show. And uh, you know, as as it represents again, I see so many of our artists are you know come from different backgrounds. You know, but they all have common is a passion in art. Uh, even though they are in different professional life, they are continuing doing uh, you know art. They are carrying. This is what uh, you know kind of artists were bringing them and giving them a, a platform to these artists to showcase their work and. Uh, you know, um, hopefully with all what we are trying, uh, we want to provide every one of these artists a viable career. That is our goal and mission. Um, so once again, I thank you, every one of you joined uh, this exhibition. And I would also like to say some more things. Uh, please, uh, you know, share the videos, what we do and share the posts within your network that helps us uh, bring more audience into Art Smiley. So it's not just alone we do, it's, it's, a, it's a collaborative work between your network, our network. It helps us, every one of us uh, work together so that, you know, at the end, uh, not only we are showcasing, we also make some sales and, uh, and reach out to the somebody's homes. You know, that's a great feeling. You know, like uh, Whipple earlier in the beginning, he explained, uh, you know, how happy he is. And we want to see all of your works uh, reaching different homes. And I need to see the happy customers too. So please, uh, whatever we do, Post it and uh, you know share about your works. Please uh, showcase it to uh, everyone. Uh, every one of you can you know link to your friends and family members or your customers who are there. If you could uh, you know share these works, that'll be more reached. Uh, it can reach the number of people uh, and help us. Uh, every one of us in this. Uh, so I wish you all the best, and uh, we again uh, do all our best to do make sure uh, uh, you know your works are being. Uh, published in different parts of our uh, communities and we do uh, maintain uh, um, what you call uh, we advertise your works and uh, in Hilton you know we do our best to uh, at the same time uh, please contribute from your side as well uh, um, whatever you could do in uh, sharing these works that all helps uh, every one of you I would like to say yeah thank you and I think I don't know Aruna yeah, Ruben, Mr. Ruben came actually yeah he's here I think yeah and also Gia is asking uh, some questions and uh, she wants to take some screenshot of, of her work. So. Yeah. 
I don't worry all of you. I will send this presentation to all of you so that you can take and download the pictures also about your works and everything. Okay, don't worry. I will send the screenshots. The whole PowerPoint presentation I will share with you. Yeah, we will be showcasing in all the social media platforms in our uh, YouTube, uh, Art Smiley YouTube channel. So you have all this chance, you know, to go through your works again, to listen to all the what we talk about today. So you have opportunity there. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes, recorded video also will be shared with you. And uh, now I will present Mr. Rubin. Rubin, are you there? Uh, he just joined. Uh, yeah. Same. I think some technical issues he has. Is he? We can just wait for two minutes uh, so that he will start. Yeah, he's not in the meeting actually. Ah, he's here finally. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Ruben, can you hear us? I think you have connectivity issues. Sir. Okay, thank oh, you. Man. Okay, sorry to keep you waiting. Hi, guys. Hi, sorry. I think you waited and went in the last minute. Okay, please carry on with your presentation. Yeah, yeah Ruben, you can, uh, you know, carry on uh, showcasing. Okay. Talk about uh, a bit of yourself. Okay, thank you. Uh, I apologize, uh, I have a bad connection, and I am sorry. Uh, okay, uh, thank you for your support. Uh, congratulations to Art Smile for this great opportunity that give us. My name is uh, Ruben Molina, I am from Venezuela. I am very happy to participate at this exhibition. It's an honor for me. Uh, I hope that my hour would be pleasure to you uh, talking about my hour. Uh, my hour is about action painting. How do I do it? I usually draw with a dripping paint on the canvas. That's, that's why to get sharp, more free and express. Also, I give it strains with colorful. Mainly, I prefer topics about body, face, flower, horse, um, also, um, Personas uh, from movies such as uh, Batman, Superman, <laughs> the Joker, etc. Um, always in my artwork is present the figuration, sometimes abstraction or sometimes real realism, but uh, always in a context of action paint. For me, master painters such as uh, Rembrandt, Rubens, Roya, Manet, and Jackson Polo had been object of um, a study in my hour. Uh, for example, look at this. This hour. Yeah, this is Gandhi. Yes. Okay. This, uh, uh, for example, Gandhi uh, is the symbol of the peace of the dialogue uh, between people. Um, I think uh, the the art is always to join uh, people uh, in Gandhi representing uh, this uh, idea. Um, finally, uh, I, I am very, very, very happy 
for this uh, opportunity. Uh, congratulations for my partner. Uh, I I I watched uh, um, great artworks. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you, Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ruben. I mean, I had to say that your work is so great. It's very nice. I can, you know, I'm sure uh, you have a lot of inspiration. Uh, you know, it's, you, you put the man uh, who is actually fighting for uh, his life, uh, you know, all about peace uh, and connecting the people, as you said. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice work. Okay. All right, uh, uh, every one of you, and uh, it's pleasure, uh, you know, um, to represent you through Art Smiley, and we're proud of all of your works, and, uh, you know, we keep doing our work, and let's work together. Uh, as I said, we will share all the videos and postings and to reach out to the as many audience as possible. So let's uh, be confident, and, uh, you know, we're all in this together, and we work together. Thank you very much. Uh, have a nice, great evening. Thank you all of you. Thank Any you. comments or inquiries, you, you can you. call us. Okay, you can call or WhatsApp us to the our contact numbers, or also visit our website artsmali.com. Okay. Sure. Thank and you. you know, you can see the contact numbers. You can WhatsApp us, or you can reach out through website. Uh, we have a live chat all the twenty-four by seven almost. So thank you guys uh, once again. Uh, have a nice evening and uh, good night uh, from Artsmali. Thank you all. Okay. Thank you all of you. Thank you so.